When in doubt, empty the magazine. Yeah, this guy. Captain Mendoza, the Unity vet. Been in the military forever. Oldest captain in the Unity. Got busted down once for punching an officer. Has a combat story for every sector of space. Carries a pulse rifle. There are many like it. That one is his. Crucially, he knows how to use it. His specialty is being where he's gotta be. You find yourself in a pinch and need an ally? He's gonna be the guy who's gonna come sprinting to find you. He can call down his own portable cover, complete with med kit. And he'll even bring flash grenades for added support. No better friend, huh? No worse enemy. Have no fear! I concur. Rahian brother. Big human, little robot. Scouting ahead. Honest to goodness folk here. <laughs> the stories I hear about those two can't be true, but I mean, who knows really, right? Taking fire! I'll protect you! Rahi's got a short-range laser beam that converts some of the damage he deals into a personal shield. He can use those shields to deflect damage or to power up his force punch. Then he can send out a projectile that protects allies and blinds his enemies. Plus, he can ignore damage for a short bit and recharge his shield. Shields at full. Brothers, an extra set of eyes. Rahi and I are ready to help. Brother can also scout up ahead, detecting enemies, and Rahi can teleport to him to catch up. Between that and Rahi's super jump, it can be awfully hard to pin down. Now, they say they came to Crucible because it's got the key to improving life for people all over the galaxy. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Anything is possible! I am the reef that splits the current. A raider from the planet Orison, Ajona is a deadly marksman who excels at taking out her prey from a distance. Her basic attack is a shot from a harpoon gun, and she can aim down sights for increased accuracy and damage. Ajona uses her grappling hook to cover terrain quickly and seize the high ground. She deploys flying mines to distract and damage enemies. Her jamming shroud blocks detection of herself and nearby allies. So when she's in play, do yourself a favor and don't let your guard down. Ever. The tide rises. I protect my garden and it protects me. This here is Bug. He's a terraforming botany unit modified to test out the viability of using robots to collect essence. Charming fellow, eager to please, remarkably deadly given his cute exterior. Take that motherfucker down. The thrusters allow him to get a height advantage over landbound opponents. Bitch. Bug fights with unusual weapons, seed pod ammunition, and a built-in fertilizing sprayer. He can plant Go seeds and, and then use a the spray to grow them ha, 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 fast. Ha, ha. The plants? They don't like enemies. They'll dish out damage to any hostiles in range. The spray will also damage any opponents it hits. He can also crop dust his enemies, slowing and damaging them. Lastly, he can grant shields to himself, his plants, and Glad to help a new nearby friends. Pretty cool for a guard, huh? Yes, Joy. Let's make Crucible Bloom. Hello. Every operation has got an Earl. You know, family guy, just in it for a living, happy to pal around when he's off the clock. Coming through! But you know when the chips are down, he is a real son of a gun. Speaking of guns, he calls his Misty after his wife. Old Misty here is a scratch-built quad cannon, spits out hundreds of rounds a minute. 
I also hear the real Misty is lovely. Anyway, the gun is kitted out. He can upshift her to let out a high-powered burst of bullets, vent out an explosion to knock enemies back and to deflect projectiles, or engage the afterburner to jet forward at frankly alarming speeds. If he gets in a tight spot, he can always chug a healing beverage. Solid guy to have on your side, but I wouldn't want to get in his way. <laughs> Taking a flamethrower blast to the face? No? You ever want to? Then keep your distance from this one. Summer built those twin flamethrowers herself. They're full of neat little tricks. Until they overheat. Gotta watch that. Gotta cool my jets. Those modified flamethrowers give her options. Fireballs. Magma spirals. An explosive knockback. She can even get some air and blast forward with them. I hear it's no fun to be the person between her and the ground when all that whoop-ass comes crashing down out of the sky. In this corner, me! Watch and learn. This one is apparently some big shot back on her home world. I mean, just look at that uniform, right? It takes a lot of stupidity, or an awful lot of moxie to give your opponents pointers on tactics and strategy in a firefight. Whichever one it is, Sekiri has got it in spades. Ah, you've been practicing. She's a tactical mastermind that swaps between her pistol and energy sword depending on the fight. And she's got a reflecting hollow shield to get her through some sticky situations. Plus a force dome that her enemies can't pass through. Trust me, you do not want to get caught on the wrong side of that. Ah, it's good to be the best. Mad scientist gets thrown around a lot, you know? But it doesn't really do Tosca justice. No, she's more of a totally pissed off genius scientist. And she's got an acid gun. Real good combination, huh? Add to that a pair of x ray goggles that let her detect enemies, an explosive compound that sticks and slows them down, an electro cloud to cloak herself and her allies. Plus, she can teleport through solid walls. So you can imagine why a creature so small sends opponents three times her size running. Hey, do me a favor. Don't tell her I called her small. Eat sticky death. You ready for action? They call Cezanne a one-woman army for a good reason. Never so much as rolls out of bed without her nursing gun, electro knife, and shotgun. She swaps them fast, and she gets bonuses based on what weapon she's holding. Plus, she's incredibly light on her feet, dashes around the battlefield to take advantage of tactical openings. You may as well count her grudges as a weapon, too. She's convinced someone in the Unity did her old commando squad dirty. And I know she is never gonna let that one go. Frankly, I pity the poor sap who did it. Because she will find them. Eventually. I'm always the last one standing.
This is Drakkar. He's a... Uh, he's a piece of work, you know? I mean, he's not evil, not exactly, but he's really good with that axe, and he really enjoys swinging. People underestimate him at first. I mean, sure, they're ready for the melee swings for the axe, but nobody is prepared for the sonic pulse the axe fires to hit them when they're out of reach. <laughs> And he's quick on his feet, too, for such a big guy. He can power up that axe to stun and bleed his enemies. When he whips himself into a frenzy, he can pull opponents in close or gain health from hitting them. <laughs> Nobody underestimates him twice. Good luck. That's just a pretty face.